So in this uh, example, we are given a basis where B1 and B2 are given, okay? And we want to find the coordinate vector of, uh, we want to find the coordinate vector X relative to the basis uh, given that the vector X is four, five, okay? So, so we can think, think of this as we have a, okay, let's say, looking at in the standard basis, okay? So we have, let's say this is x1 and this is x2, okay? So we have that 4, 5, okay, it's living in here somewhere. Okay, so that's our, that's what we're given. And we want to find, okay, where is it in terms of the basis vectors, okay? All right, so that means all right, if we have, okay, so we want to find it with respect to our basis vectors, which is given as uh, 2, 1, and negative 1, 1. Okay, so 2, 1, okay, so let's say, so let's see, 1, 2, so here's 2, and then 1 is here. So this will be the basis vector B1, okay? And then for, uh, the, for, for the second vector in, in beta, which is minus one, one, we have, it's gonna be over here, okay? Okay, so this is, this is B1 and this is B2. And we wanna find out, okay, where is this, where is this vector x? Okay, so the x is given as four, five. And we wanna find out where is it, right? Where is it in here? Okay, where does it, okay? In other words, what's the coordinate for that? And what's the coordinate of four, five in terms of b1 and b2? Okay, so really, this is not too, um, not too terribly difficult to solve. Okay, so basically the, the values that we're going to find in terms of B1 and B2 will be the weights, okay, for this. Okay, so we have C1, okay, so C1, right, times 2, 1, plus C2 times negative 1, 1, okay, is equal to uh, our vector in, in the standard basis, four, okay, which is 4, 5, okay. All right. So we have, right, so basically we have a system to solve for, okay? So this is gonna give us, okay? So two, one, negative one, one, C1, C2 is equal to four, five, okay? All right, so now solving this, okay? All right, so we can, uh, we can solve this by various techniques. Okay, we can go ahead and augment it. Okay, or we can use inverse. Okay, and we know the inverse exists here because the basis vectors, right, they, they're literally independent of each other. Okay, so therefore, uh, we can go ahead and solve it. Let's go ahead and just write it as augment, augmented this system. Okay. All right. So when we do a okay. So when we solve this, okay, and you can we can do a ref on that. So that's going to give us one zero zero one equal to three two or well x is going to be in terms of our basis x will be three two now okay all right so okay so what that means okay all right so if we look at this way okay so this is our right so this is our solution okay 
this is x in terms of our basis vectors. So that means that if we go back up here, okay, so we have uh, this is we can think of this as one, two, and three, and then we go up two units. So that means x in terms of the basis vectors, or x in relative to the basis vectors is here, okay. So that's what the solution is telling us, okay. All right. So the so the vector x four five in the non-standard, or I'm sorry, in the standard basis, is equivalent to three two in the uh, basis vectors that were given, okay.